Hi guys, so I'm just about to set off on an epic adventure. I'm two days in Snowdonia. In about four hours time, I'll be ascending Snowdon to start off the, the Welsh 3000s. Uh, I've had a lot of sleep, so it's gonna be a tough one. Um, for spending the night in my car and then meeting a group on Saturday to do um, Coonglass Mower and Cribby Disgull and uh, then whatever they wanna do from there. So yeah, it's going to be an epic weekend, just about to set off. It's midnight on Thursday currently, so I'm hoping to get there for around half three. So yeah, see you in Wales. Well, good morning from a very blustery snow day in here. Still dark at the moment, just heading up the road to make my way up to Penny Pass to uh, start the ascent of Snowden. So, uh, the conditions aren't too bad and they're set to improve. So, uh, yeah, we'll just take it slow getting up here. Oh, so those of you that have uh, watched some other videos on my channel will have noticed that last time I did this particular route up to Snowdon, I was absolutely drenched by this point. So we're already onto a winner. And it's completely dry. Right, it's a lot brighter than what I thought it would be. Looks like we might even get a bit of a sunrise coming up over there in a minute. I think it's about, about half an hour till, till sunrise. Okay, so while we've got a nice flat bit, I'll explain for those of you who don't know a little bit about the 3000. Basically, what it is, it's the 15 highest peaks in Wales, all over 3000 feet. Uh, there's some debate as to which ones count and which ones don't. But, uh, we don't get into that too much. And uh, 24 miles, and starting with Snowdon, doing the whole of Gone in again, Cribby Disgull, Cribgock Ridge, down into the valley, up onto the glitters, walking most of the glitters, there's a couple that don't come into it, and uh, then the big one, the Carnethi, all the way to Faux Fras in the north. And uh, that, is, that is basically the challenge. So it's the 15 highest peaks in Wales, all over 3,000 feet, in one single run. And the start point is the top of Snowden, which I'm still making my way up. What a contrast to the last time I was on the pig track. I'm dry. So the sun's just come up over that way. You can see it shining on the grib out there. And the summit's just clearing as well. Well, that's race spirits. There's the uh, third pinnacle. Okay, then, so up on the main ridge now. Short journey up to the top. Now I'm gonna get something to eat. Dark stop watch, and off we go. Wow, look at that. Right then, Snowden Summit. Five to six in the morning. It's absolutely gorgeous down there. About to start. If you watch, I can work it out. Okay. Timer. And there we go, we've started. Right, let's go. Okay, back at the top of the pig track. That's taken four minutes. So time to start ascending pig two. Really close. Gunner again. Gunner again. Taken, what does the watch say? 
9 minutes 19 seconds to get here it's a good start two peaks down ah. all right we got along this route and the helmet's going on just because i'm doing a bit of a speed run that was that was peak two only 13 more to go so then this is a bit where I'm going to have to take my time and uh, try and make up some of the time when I'm on the road. See the steep drops already. I think it gets a lot worse than that. But we're heading over this way. So the wind isn't too bad on here, fortunately. Okay, first little down climb here, nothing too difficult. It's going to go down the gully bit rather than the, the crest there. will get harder but it's a good warm up So heading along Kribi Disco at the minute, this is the easier part of the, uh, the ridge, especially the knife edge section. Oh, so it's 6.15, so yeah we've been going about 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes. Easily one of my favourite views along this ridge. Straight down to the pig. There's the crib. Further along the ridge. Makes it look terrible to stand that way. Whereas this looking a lot better. I just bumped my head. Another reason for wearing the helmet. Right. Next bit. Okay, that's the pinnacle. All well, the more fun bits of the climb up. Coming down to never as much fun. Right, that was the warm up. You can see it looks menacing from here. But that's my next one. Ah, the sun's out. It feels so much better. It gives you energy. How far we've come? In about 25 minutes. Kribi Disgull complete. Now on to Kribi Gok. I've got the third pinnacle first, which is the bit I was most nervous about. The down climb the other side. Let's see how we go. See, what I've got to find here is the right spot to come down. So I think it's just basically straight to the top. I should be able to see it. Right. Anywhere near as bad as what I was expecting. 
we've got to climb down there and round so that that is nowhere near as bad Oh, it's the cave. It does exist. I really thought it. Okay, so that's the pinnacles. So the start of the knife edge. I filmed some bits of it. I'm not going to film all of it because I filmed it quite a lot of times in the past. This is the proper knife edge part. Again, big juggy holes everywhere. So, if you take time, and shouldn't pose many problems. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. The wind's really making my nose run at the moment. These little flat sections are ace. Crib got done. Yeah, so let's get down that bit. I can relax a bit then. Never relax too much. Okay, so this is the start of the North Ridge. Pretty much the same. There's a lot more sort of grass on this one though. It can get quite slippy, but fortunately, it does seem to have dried out a bit. forwards you've got to be so aware of where your rucksack is. It can quite easily tip you off the bridge, 
which is why taking people the first time I generally try and tell them to get down backwards but for the purpose of speed I'm going down forwards it's a real steep part of the north ridge then so head down here and then down the screw slopes down the screen now okay I'm now leaving this stunning mountain behind and heading down into Kumucha first and then into Kumglas Mawa before heading down towards the first of the two big lakes there and then up onto that one with its head in the clouds it's a long way I think it's about five miles from here so it's the longest distance so far another look back up to Kribgat which is stunning absolutely fantastic day out so far we've been going we're going an hour and, hour and 20 minutes I'm using a lot of camera batteries, but look at the setting I'm in now. Go around here. Look at this. <laughs> I'm coming up here tomorrow for a bit more of a look around, so I won't film too much now. So I get down, down into the coom. So there's up into uh, towards the cliffs in Coomer Chaffa and Coom Glass up there. And I'm slowly but surely heading down here some massive cliffs just over that side so be careful not to start sliding here and then I'm going to pick up I don't know if you can see it there's a good path on that side of the river on the other side of the valley there and then that leads me down to the road and that is Snowdon Range done slimy sort of gully here I'm just working the way down Negotiated. You can see how we're on that grass up there, you're just above massive cliff edges. Yeah, it's just, uh, pretty easy now. I'm gonna head down to that stream. Yeah, you can see behind me the cliffs I was on top of, and that's what a uh, yeah, very important not to start sliding on the grass up there. And it's just like a bit of a sneaky gully down the side, but yeah, this is a this proper mountaineering area, this, there's not much in the way of paths. The only sort of path that there is is over this side of the valley. I'm trying to head to now, trying to take a direct route, just get off this uh, bog. Okay, so that's the Snowden Race done. Feeling generally okay, knees are hurting a little bit. There's no sort of, well, big downhills now until a long time in the future. After the bar, but I'm gonna head down the road now. But the amount of times I drive down this valley and I really appreciate it. Absolutely stunning. Right, time to dodge traffic. 8.03. I was up there an hour ago. Well, oh, need to pick up the pace though. That was the one bit I get to do slow. Oh, the sanctuary of a path. Okay. Oh, I wasn't too bad. Got one there pretty quick. Oh, Nant Paris then. And my next peak is that one up there. So I'm fairly well fueled up now. So hopefully that'll kick in soon. Massive push right up to the top. 
The first time I did this, it was misty and I couldn't see a thing. I don't know whether it's worse being able to see because it looks so close. It looks so close, so easy. And it ain't gonna be. Alright, so it's been quite nice and easy on the road. That's about to change. You go this long, steep ascent. Oh yeah, you know it gets steeper. <laughs> Feels like the summit's been just there for ages. But I don't think there's much longer now. Up to that boulder field. There's the view back. Could have in the distance. Uh, 20, 20 past 9. So I'm not doing terrible for time. Well, I'm right at the summit, but that took an absolute age. I'm going to have a good rest up here and then weigh up my options. I've got to go to Glidavara anyway, so we'll see. Glidavara, peak four. Yeah, some cans up here. Finally, right, I'm going to get some shelter and have a think about what I'm doing next. Well, it's just cleared then, it's been foggy up here the entire time. What a view now. Oh, now I've got a bit of flat ground, a bit more filming. So, yeah, real tough coming up there. And there, uh, but. The views make everything better. My knees have stopped hurting to a degree. Feel okay now. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy going now for quite a while. And look at that, the views like that. Wow. All right, so the garn is the further peak that you can see there. And then Triven is in the background, that's the last one of the glitters. And then over there is Penny Rolly one, which will be my first of the Carnethi. Yeah, still a ways to go, but this is really easy ground. I'm making up some, some time. You got steep bloody screw slope. Not the steepest though, that's coming up. Hey, there's the summit of peak five. Be gone. Number five. Might just have to. the next one. Glidavar. There then, just approaching Lily Coombe. And then there's that massive screw flip up to Glidavar. Actually doesn't look that bad from here. Let's see how we get on. I might not stop at the lake. I feel pretty good so I might just crack on with it. See if I can get a good way off it before stopping. As you can probably see, absolute hell, and there's more to go. We're just plodding up. It's somewhere. 
5 to 12. So we're right time wise. Starting to level out just as the mist coming in. I got spoilt on here last time. The view's not bad though still. It's right on the summits, the mist. It could be worse. But yeah, smashing it up here. Really, really pleased. Yeah, starting to starting to level out. It's still steep mine, but nothing like it has been. Bitterly cold up there. So the next one and then glitter back. I don't know if you tell my voice, but I'm getting tired. This is one of the uh, dodgier peaks to sort of navigate. It's everywhere just looks exactly the same. Not some sort of moonscape with all these jagged rocks everywhere. Yeah, luckily I've been up here a few times before, so I'll probably still get lost. Well, that's not an option. See down to Cumidwell there, and then all the way down to Bethesda. And, uh, it's quite a windy, windy part of this. Just rip through this gap. I say that as the wind stops. I think I can see the castle. Castle Gwynt on the horizon. My car's down there, and it ain't half tempting. But no, we're going for that. Let's get up there. I've decided to go over the castle just in case. You never know. Oh, Glutavar's cleared now. So it's probably an easier way of getting around. Actually, that way is a bit sort of bouldery and just a bit of a nightmare. So we're head up here now. Successfully over the castle. It took a lot out of me there. That is one mean piece of rock. Right, on to Glidervac. Right, short scramble up to the top of Glidervac. And I'll see you up there because I'm not holding the camera uh, while I'm scrambling at the minute. I'm so tired. <laughs> Either. Not part of today's uh, expedition. Oh, right, I'm feeling a little bit better about this now. Let's get up Triven, get down to uh, Lynn Bocklid, and then decide what to do from there. Got this nasty squeeze slope to, to hit now. Okay, so that's Bristol Ridge. We're going to take this dirty squeeze slope. An absolute mess. The, uh, the poles are going to come back out, I think. Yes, it's almost. Yeah, no, it's, it's... You can get up there, it's easy. Is that right? It's... Yeah, it's very easy up there. Yeah. There's a short climb or short turn uphill, that's it. I don't look too bad at all.
Here we go then. in the back. Just up to that rather misty looking one and then it boom. clear